for my first installation I'm going to install a set of ultra high performance uh, gears and pinions. They're made from a much stronger material than stock and are supposed to last a lot longer. They're designed to increase airflow and make for a more stable flight as well. Uh, so what you're going to see here is an installation video of the gears and pinions as well as a set of bearings as I get a lot of questions about these. So I've already removed this circlip here and now I'm going to just simply remove the propeller. And remove the gear, it just slides straight up. I should have had this prepared already but now I'm opening the bag of the uh, high performance gears and pinions. And here you can see what they look like side by side. Um, the stock set on the top and the high performance on the bottom. This is the new pinion that I just set down and now I'm just going to simply remove the uh, stock pinion which is a lot easier than I made it look here but you just simply pull that straight up um, slide this yeah, shaft out and now you simply take this back in there and just rotate it around to get the brass bushings out and you'll see they just come right out on the shaft there now when I flip it over here I'm just simply doing the same thing on the bottom bushing you see again it just pops right out so the next question that I always get is about the bearings. Um, so I get these from Boca Bearing. They're really only about ten to fifteen dollars shipped. Don't get the cheap ones off of eBay. These are the best ones you can buy. They're sealed Teflon bearings, so they're they're really nice. So just drop them into the uh, same spot as I pulled the brass bushings out of perfect fit. I've also had these soaking in, uh, in Teflon oil for a few days uh, before I install. So here I am just putting the uh, pinion on. Now there's a D shape that you have to line up before you or as you're putting this pinion on. It slides right into place. And now I'm just going to put the other bearing onto the, uh, the shaft and slide that straight through. And then just push it into place. Uh, install the high performance gear. and put the blade on. Now I didn't put the blade on correctly here so you'll see me just remove it. You have to rotate the blade around uh, to make sure that it lines up with the uh, the half clip. And then just press fit it into place. It's actually a very it's a, it's a tight fit so it, it's pretty secure. Put this on this entire assembly now back onto the shaft. And then just reinstall the circlip. It just presses right, on, right onto the shaft there. Now from what I understand, uh, you should be able to hear a difference in the original from the stock um, gears and pinions and these new upgraded uh, high performance gears and pinions. So what follows here is a clip of the stock versus the high performance. Uh, I can barely hear a difference, but See what you think.
my next modification is going to be another vinyl wrapped hull so this is stock and again I just wrapped this with uh, a vinyl brushed steel this time uh, I hope you can really see it I, I don't think the photos do it justice but it's a really cool look of, of uh, like a brushed steel kinda going for like a Terminator-esque type of drone to add to the effect uh, I decided to add some red LED strips. I added one along the top and then one down each side of the drone. I modified this to be able to just plug straight into the balance plug of the uh, battery. So next I just took my carbon fiber hole and uh, also added a strip of red LEDs down the center. Just decided to dress up the carbon fiber hole a little bit. So last, I just want to leave you with a little montage of some of the uh, custom holes that I've done. Uh, this one being the Army hole with a Marpat, uh, which is a marine camo vinyl wrap. This is the carbon fiber hole with the AR drone uh, text and icon. And finally, the uh, yellow hole, again with the AR drone icon and text.